welcome everyone uh, welcome to the series where we are doing question paper of 2022 november so this is the final exam and then we are going to look at the questions that i've displayed on the screen if you have been subscribed click subscribe button and also click no the notification button so that you are updated of any episode that i'll be uploading if you look at question one here it says you have to use microsoft word to key in the document as indicated below so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to go through all the questions as displayed here on the screen and then we can look at the document that you had to edit or create so 1.2 is where you're going to insert the examination number and question one as header 1.3 use font type century gothic size 12 1.4 you are going to center align the heading and make sure that it is centered 1.5 you are going to type the text the universal declaration so when we type the paragraphs as we are going to be starting you will see a line where we are going to type this universal declaration of human rights so you have to make sure that it's in italics as indicated 1.6 says leave spaces between the paragraphs so your paragraphs must never be joined together 1.7 insert the numbered list as indicated at the bottom so if you look at the paragraph that you should create as displayed now on the screen all the things that are being said on the instructions that i said few seconds ago you can see that we have a header where it must go indicated we have the main heading center align and underline as indicated we have the universal declaration of women rights which will be in italics as indicated there at the bottom we have the numbers as a list of things sentences that are numbered so we have to create the document exactly as you see it so i'm displaying my document here now you can see that this document shows all the text that you had to type so i typed this so at the bottom here these are numbers so i just pressed one full stop space then i type this and then when i press enter two comes automatically and three comes automatically after i i type press enter when i'm here okay so now the editing that we spoke about the first thing that i'm going to do is to ensure that i have the header which is going to be the examination number and question number as header and both of them are going to be centered so i'm going to go and click insert and then you see there on your tools now i can go to header and then the best way to do it is to take the one with three columns so i will take this one and then when i take this one it means at the center here i will type the examination number and question number so i don't need this on the left i click it i press delete on the keyboard i click here i press delete on the keyboard the one at the center here now i can click and type examination number which is going to be your own id number so in my case i will write the word examination number you know that this is where your own id number goes in so examination number after typing it when i press enter you see that my cursor goes to the left so i can just go and click home and click center so when it's on the left like this then now i can type in question one but it has to be centered as well so it meaning i can press tab and then it goes straight under examination number then i'm going to type question one that is how you are supposed to do it and then now for the text I have to go back to my text now you see now i'm inside my header so i have to go out of this header it's either i go click design click close header and footer then i'm inside my text if i scroll up you will see the header section is grayed out because this is not where i type my work i have to be within the paragraphs so that i can continue editing use font type century gothic size 12 so you just verify otherwise if you typed without that font you will highlight everything like i did now and then just make sure that all your text is highlighted when you go to font you'll go and find century gothic 
uh, for in my case I found it already there and then font size size 12 there it is then everything will be according to that font center align and underline the main heading so I will highlight the main heading which is this and then click center and also underline it so meaning that I would click you for underline and then type the text universal declaration of human rights in italics so meaning that this should be in italics not the font italic but italics as a style of font there it is then i can click next to bold click it once then you will see that this text and this text are typed differently leave spaces between paragraphs so you just make sure that paragraph one at the end there is a space there is a space here a space there and so on insert the number list as indicated so i have typed them there at the bottom with numbers and then now my document is accurate and then i can just save it so this i will save it as question one so i will make sure that it's saved as question one you see there i've saved it already as question one and then now when you continue in your question paper you will see that question two says open the document as saved saved as question one open the document saved as question one and edit it according to the instructions uh, the following instructions as you see them there displayed we have to edit the document by inserting all the text which is new the new text so when you look at the document displayed here question paper on the screen it shows that the text that we are working on is the same text that we had in question one but we have something new at the bottom that is why we have an instruction that says insert and bold new text so that is the first thing that i will do when working on this document i will scroll down and click at the bottom there so meaning that before i change this i would have saved it and print it because it's an exam so the instruction of question one said save as question one and print the document on one a4 portrait page and place in the printout in your examination folder so meaning that you would have went to file and go to print and make sure that you print this and receive it during the exam then now because you would have printed after printing it clicking this button it will print now after that obviously it's saved then that is when we can do what is required by question two so question two wants us to add to add another text at the bottom so i'm going to make sure that my cursor is there at the bottom because question one is printed now i edit this question one to be question two so the text at the bottom that we we saw is when we are going to have the heading that says the rights in the bill of rights so i'm going to type it and say the rights in the bill of rights the rights in the bill of rights so it must be in font algerian size 14 double underline so i'm going to highlight it algerian then i'm going to make sure that it's size 14 and then also is double underline so meaning that for me to click this underline i will have to go to the small arrow pointing down look for double underline then after that make sure that the cursor is blinking without the highlight after that press enter now remember you have to type new things and you still have the font algerian you still have double underline so you have to go and remove the underline once and then also make sure that you don't have the algerian font so we are going to take it back to century gothic so i will just go and say century gothic and then font size 12. so now when i type that paragraph as you see here it said that we must make sure that it's bold and then you can see it comes with bullets so meaning that i can go and define the bullets there and choose the bullet that must come as i type so the first one is there already and then i can also activate bold like this and then now i can start typing so meaning that i will say people then i will type everything i will type the whole paragraph the whole sentences and then we can continue after that
right so after typing all this is part of the new text then now we look at the instructions on the other text that we have to edit for question two you will see that now the heading must change to font size um, 18 and then comic sense and then we must also delete a paragraph and then we must write align the other paragraph and then we must also replace numbers with bullets so now going back to my text here this heading obviously you saw that it has to change so meaning that now i will have to change this heading to um make it font size 18 so i will go and change font size 18 and then i will change the um font to be comic sense so i will go and click there so that i can find comic sense so as you scroll down to find comic sense you will see that sometimes it takes time so you can type it there it will appear so comic sense there it is for me i found it and then i will make it bold and uppercase so meaning that you will click aa there and find uppercase and then now you delete the paragraph that starts with women rights are the basic rights so you highlight all this and press delete on the keyboard and then now you can just remove the space there too much space by backspace space once enter once and then you have good spacing between your paragraphs then the paragraph that says however remember there as indicated we had to right align it so i will highlight and right align this just like that then i have to change this to bullets so i highlight all this and then you replace numbers with bullets so meaning that i can go and choose any bullet that i want there and then the numbers are changed to be in bullets and then now the header there will be changing to question two if i go there where it says question one i would click there and then now change this one to two and close header so meaning that when i print this now this will be marked as question two and then i will also save it as question two so let me start by saving file save as and then i'm going to save this as question two question two and then i will save so meaning that now i will print it because it's an exam so meaning when you see that it's question two up there you have verified and then you can just go to file print and then now you are printing question two it will be coming out like this that is how you do question one and question two and then you will have scored 20 marks for question uh, one and another 20 marks for question two meaning that you already have 40 marks with only microsoft weight